Now there's something I found and that has to do with how to fix a toilet flusher. Toilet flusher is part of the water system or what we call the flush toilet that comprises the handle, that's the handle, and then a swing arm. Swing arm is what is connected to the handle that helps to lift the lava and then make it flush. Then the swing arm, the swing arm is inside this tank that is the interior of the toilet flusher. The swing arm is used to lift the lever connected to the flapper which makes the toilet to flush. So the handle is used to initiate the flush and then it is connected to the swing arm but then the swing arm is connected to the lever using a chain or hook depending on the kind of toilet system that you have. So the swing arm is connected to a chain or to a hook. Now when the hook snaps or the chain snaps, how do you fix the toilet? How do you fix the flusher? How do you connect it to the lift rod? Because the hook or the chain is connected to the lift rod. The lift rod is what now lifts the flapper and makes it to flush. So when the hook which is inside this tank snaps, how do you fix it? And why does it snap? You know the hook is a metal. So when it stays long inside this tank, water makes it to rust over time and then it snaps. And when it snaps, you now call the plumber. And when the plumber comes, he fixes it for you. And what does the plumber do? The plumber fixes the hook on the lift rod. The lift rod, which is what now lifts the flapper and makes it flush. So when the hook snaps, the challenge is always, how do you find the lift rod? How do you lift that lift rod to fix the hook or chain so that it can be fixed back to the handle that initiates the flushing? And that is what I found. And I'm going to show it to you so that when your flusher snaps, you can easily go and get a hook or chain and then fix it to connect the swing arm and the lift rod. So that your toilet can start flushing again. Now look at what they call the handle. That is the flusher. Some call it flusher. Some call it handle. Look at it. It's broken. So when this handle is broken, nothing happens. And there is a hook. The hook I'm talking about is this. Look at this hook. You know. So when you fix it into the, uh, the tank, when water keeps touching it, it gets uh, rusty and then snaps but that's after a long period of time some don't use hook some use chain but if you use hook and the flusher breaks see what you do so this is an example look at the one that snapped you see it used to be like this but what happened after months it becomes rusty like this and then it snaps naturally and then you, you, you call the plumber. Now this is about 4 cents. 4 cents. It's 100 naira in Nigeria. About 100 naira in Nigeria. But it's about 4 cents. So you can use the hook or the chain. But let's show you how to quickly fix it even without calling the plumber. But if you don't have this, you can actually get an iron, you know, a light iron that you can bend and hook it. Let me show you. So this is what it does. This is where it snapped from. So this one was like this. And this is the one that went into the lift rod. The lift rod that when you flush it, it goes off. Look at. So it snapped. That's it. It's broken. So I will have to fix it. This is the handle. That's the handle. This is the swing arm. This is the swing arm. The swing arm. And this is the hook. This particular toilet we're using makes use of the hook, not the chain. When you have the chain, the chain is connected to this place. That's why it's connected, the chain. But this is the hook. This one uses the hook. So this hook lifts 
what is inside here this is what you call the lift rod so the hook is connected to the lift rod the lift rod that is it look at that this is the hook this is the swing arm this is the lift rod look at this the other end of the hook is connected to the lift rod the other end of the hook is connected to the lift rod this is the lift rod that is connected to while the other end is connected to the swing arm so this is the hook that snaps if this hook look at this hook if this hook stays here for a long time it rusts and then snaps over time that is it so same could happen to the chain but when it snaps you need to unhook this side that is connected to the swing arm you just remove it so the challenge is how do you remove the one that is connected to the lift rod down here look at it down here how do you remove this one inside connected to the lift rod and it means you have to first find a way to raise the lift rod so that you can unhook it and that's what we're trying to show you and that's what we're trying to show you in this video so you see your hand has to go down down look at that down it is under this thing that looks like tank under it there is something you push up that's where what raises the lift rod is you raise it look at that you just keep use your finger and be pushing it up when you push it up you can see that the lift rod has come up and that is the only way you can unhook the one that is inside look at it now i have access to the lift rod and that's how you can unhook this one under and then fix it and then fix it to this place so the question is how do you raise this rod because you have to raise it to be able to hook this how do you raise it you don't know and if you don't know you want to involve the plumber so let me remove this broken one So this is it. I will need to hook this to this place and then hook this to this rod, this lift rod. Get closer. This is the lift rod where you have to hook. Send the hook. This rod they are looking at, this one I'm pointing at. So how do you raise it? You see, it can't come up. So the plumber comes and then does it. So let me show you what to do. Let me show you gently. Put your hand on that. Difficult to find. Only those in the industry know this. I mean the plumbers in the field. You send it under, under this tank. You see? Send your finger up. Push it. Push it from under. Push it from under. And that's it. You can see that it has come up. Then this is the hook. So I'm supposed to fix the hook here and here. But look at this part that is, this part that is bent more than this. Look at the part that is bent that's what the one you put here if you put this other open part here when you flush the hook will hang it will not pull up that's why it's big it won't allow it to flush so it is this smaller part the part that is bent well that you put here first so how do you put it you just look at that just hang it like this Simple movement. Look at it. And then gently remove your hand. Remove your hand. Look at that. And then you send this one like this and fix the hook. See? You can actually bend it. Look at this. Pull it up. Bend it. And then send this one in. It might be a bit difficult, but gently you fix it. And it goes in look at it that's it so now it can actually flush but so when it is fixed you can easily flush you see it is now connected back so after fixing the hook back to the swing arm and the lift rod you cover back the tank and then ta -da, the arm back in shape everything about the flusher fixed and then you easily flush wow nice 
one there. So, when next your toilet flusher is broken, you can use this video to fix back the flusher without actually inviting the plumber.